Hi guys, welcome back to another here video from Krista and I. Hey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, once again, we're back with another episode of this whole 30 day hair detox and giving you guys all the tea on how to take care of your natural hair. And today I think is the the video that we've all been waiting for, you've all been waiting for, which is the product video. And we're just gonna get right into it and tell you the products that we're using, where we got them, and why we use them. So, Crystal's gonna start off because she has all the cleansing products and the yes. deconditioning yes. products. So. so, first and foremost, we use shampoo over here. And we're um. flourishing. <laughs> so, a lot of us in the natural hair community have been told that sun is bad, it's not a great thing. Sis, if you're like me and you work out four or five times a week and your scalp sweats, or your scalp just sweats, if in you general, live, yeah, you live in a hot country, you're going on. to sweat. These are things that you need to take into consideration when it comes to washing your damn hair. Yeah. You, you cannot just rely on a certain type of co-wash or just relying on co-wash alone and to help you to make it still use in oils which we hope yeah. that you we hope by now you're we gone. hope that from our past videos that you've cut that out is to remove dirt and build up your and hair product. yeah and products your hair your scalp naturally makes oils itself anyway so you want to make sure that your scalp is clean and you're not suffocating it or anything like that you say if you've gone, you've gone seven days without washing your hair, like sometimes with myself, I go five or seven days, sometimes ten without being able to wash my hair. You need a shampoo, a proper shampoo to wash that out. You need to make sure that your scalp is nice and squeaky clean for that next style. And for those of you who do not use proper shampoo, may actually find that you suffer with a lot of hair buildup and your styles may not be looking as cute and as they should. Is dry. Yeah, and your or your hair is dry. That could be because either one, you're using the wrong shampoo for the wrong reasons, or you're not using um, or you're just relying on co-wash or just like a and simple you can't cleanser. Just rely on, we co-wash as well, but obviously we're gonna use the shampoo. Exactly. Just because I don't work out, I'm not sweating as much as Krista is, but I'm gonna use that all-purpose shampoo regardless because I want my hair to be clean and I want my style to last and I want the results that I want. So the so, first the first shampoo is called the chilling shampoo. So now for those of us who mm -hmm. reside in the Cayman Islands or in a place where it's quite humid, um, or sorry, those of us who reside in the Cayman Islands who we have softer water, the water quality is not as hard. We don't really need a chilling shampoo. So as we mentioned in a previous video, for those of you who reside in a country that has hard water, that's something you may want to invest in because. So the next shampoo is called the Clarifying Shampoo. Now Angelica and I both actually started the hair detox using the Clarifying Shampoo. That's something you actually have to do mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so the products that we have that's available on island. I think is, this is the only Clarifying Shampoo. Yeah, this is actually the only Clarifying Shampoo on island. It's by um, Fantasia IC. <laughs> so as you can, it actually says on the bottom, on the bottle, sorry, Clarifying Formula exfoliates dry scalp and eliminates build up when you use the shampoo you're gonna feel like you have brand new hair honestly and some of us actually don't even know what our hair feels like when it's clarified when it's clean when it doesn't have anything in it and that's why that's why it's built up this scare in the natural hair community oh my gosh my hair feels weird it feels like it's dry or it's dry yeah, like your hair is supposed to feel like that when you clarify it properly mm -hmm. now when you're using more water soluble products you, you will not need to clarify. have to clarify as often now since i've actually almost finished the, the third day hair detox and i've only used this shampoo once i haven't had to use it because i've been using more water soluble products for those of you who use heavy oils and if you continue to do that and decide that you don't want to do the 30 day hair detox you will find yourself right. having to use a clarifying shampoo a lot more often which can have an adverse effect on your hair that's it'll why dry, it'll dry it will dry it on out and that's why we encourage for you to use more water soluble products so that way you won't have to clarify your hair as often in reality you should only be clarifying your hair maybe between two weeks to three months depending obviously on the essential elements of your hair mm -hmm. so maybe by which we covered in our last video so make sure you check if it you out don't know what we're talking about please make sure to watch them in order it's gonna help you out a whole lot yeah so maybe by like the end of march beginning of april then i'll use 
this shampoo again to just make sure I get everything out and my scalp is squeaky clean again simply because of my own personal lifestyle. So the next shampoo is the all-purpose shampoo. So this one is by, by Miao. Angelica, you want to talk a bit about this one? Um, so the all-purpose shampoo is what you're going to use more often than the clarifying shampoo. Now, this shampoo does lather. This is the Babasu um, Conditioning Shampoo by Mayel Organics. And this, how I use this is I do um, a wash day once a week. Um, so I'll go in with the all-purpose shampoo and I'll give my hair a good clean and this is not a clarifying shampoo okay this is just to remove any products that you may have on your hair and even if you're switching styles so if you're switching between a wash and go and a twist out the twist out products are typically going to be more heavy than your wash than your wash and go product yeah. because your wash and go products are more light they're more um, water based yeah um, your twist outs will be more creamy so of course it's going to give you that that build up on your hair so you want to use this shampoo to just get rid of that especially if you're switching between styles and especially if you're someone that and goes to the to longer the than um five days without washing your hair yeah it's something you want to invest in because you're going to have build up in your hair just from sweating alone not just from products but imagine for someone like myself who works out four to five days a week she can I'm wash her hair with just no poop yeah like, i'm gonna have build up from sweat and build up from product guys we have seen in the salon community of people making fun of others <laughs> because they don't wash <laughs> their they don't wash their shampoo. Hair. The next one is called a cleanser. Now, yeah, this is right. Okay, so this is actually by Diva Curl. Now, this is the decadence line. We actually prefer the original Diva Curl no who um and condition yeah. line. Um, so um, Angelica and I we both follow up. So first we do the Miel, the all purpose because it is quite strong. So we follow up with the no poo. And this is what the no poo looks like for those of you who don't um for those of you who don't know as we said as you can see it says decadence so we actually recommend the one, original yeah. the it original one will say original, original. Yeah. yeah so as we said this is more of a cleanser now that's why we actually follow up from the all-purpose shampoo to with this that. with the yeah. cleanser this, this is, is actually more moisturizing for your yeah hair. it's very moisturizing and that's why we use both to help to give your, your hair that balance yeah. we found that that works best for us based on what we have available on island mm -hmm. i did invest in another all-purpose shampoo but when i do get it because they don't sell it here obviously i ordered it online so when it comes in i'll talk to you guys about that but for those of you who like to wash your hair two to three times a week the no poo is pretty good for that um However, for those of you who don't really have a lot of free time, you cannot rely on the no poo alone oh, no. to wash it. It's not going to get out that sweat and that build up in your hair, especially if you're like Angelica and I, that we use different types of products. We don't just use Diva Curl products alone. So you do need something else to pair with this. Mm -hmm. Unless it's something where you're using two to three times a week, then that's a little different because obviously you're washing hair a lot more often and you don't want something that's as harsh on your hair but these we've actually we found that these two products work pretty well together obviously we recommend the original yeah so the next one we have is a rinse out conditioner and this is the one condition by diva curl and this is from the decadence line again you want to get the original of this because that is what is recommended and this was just what i had on hand at that time this is what i could get my hands on so this is what it looks like for those of you who don't know. And um, the Diva Curl products that we're going to show in this video, you can pretty much get them all at the salon in Galleria Plaza if you're from the Cayman Islands and that's on West Bay Road. And the prices of the, I just want to give you the prices because that is important to all of us. I know that a lot of you are probably going to ask after this video, how much did they cost? Be realistic guys, but if you want good quality products, you're going to spend a little bit I've more. I've had this for a month now and I'm not, I'm not, there's a pretty decent amount of products left in this. And like I said, this one, now that I know how to use it. Um, I haven't been using a lot. So I paid $18 for this at Rochelle's. This is the Mayel Organic Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. The IC, I believe we paid like $5, $5 to $6 from the that, pharmacy. Yeah, from the pharmacy. Yeah. Um, 
and then the deeper curls, curls are about curl, twenty five. They're about twenty five dollars each, but they and they're pretty good, so they'll they last are. long and they'll last you a long time. Versus buying um your regular your regular conditioner and shampoo. And we will stress again, these type of pro I'm um, sorry, these type of products such are as deeper so long quality are so long quality and they they only pair well with water soluble products. These these type of um, products do not go with oil your oily product they're either. not going to work with heavy products so you may find that if you wash your hair with no poo and condition it your hair does not feel clean it's probably because it isn't because you're using heavy products in your hair these type of shampoo and conditioners are for water soluble products so the next we're going to talk about are treatments now treatments are actually problem solving agents we do not, it's not something that you necessarily need to do on a regular basis. Now, you don't have to deep condition your hair every week if it doesn't need unless to it needs, Unless it needs it, then you yeah. listen to your hair and what your hair needs. That's the whole purpose of these videos is for you to get to know your hair. Exactly. Right? So um, the two that we have is one is actually a protein and one is a is a deep conditioning. And these are what were available to on, us on our island. Um, we just want to stress that, that there's more on the list, but these are just what was available in the Cayman Islands. So the one by Miao is the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner, but it's actually a protein treatment. It has quite a lot of protein in it. So for those of you um, who may need this, Simply like for example, like myself, who I've had, I've, my hair has been chemically processed quite a lot over the years, and uh, my hair tends to be a little bit more porous than others, so I do need a little bit of protein. Now this isn't mine, this is actually Angelica's, but I've had this quite a while, and I've actually only done one protein treatment since I've done a 30-day hair detox, and I haven't had to do that. Now that's something that I've never really changed. I've always only done protein treatments, maybe every four to six weeks. And since I'm using better products, I don't even think I need to do it that often. Mm -hmm. Probably maybe every six to eight weeks now. Um, so as you can see, it is quite small. That just confirms that you don't need a lot of it and you yeah. don't need to use it that often. Another thing, a lot of people think that their hair is protein sensitive. There's no, no such thing, thing as protein sensitive. sensitivity. Like <laughs> your hair has protein, protein in it. So. so you cannot be protein sensitive. However, if you find that you use a protein treatment and your hair feels weird or you feel like it doesn't it makes it worse or has an adverse effect, it's probably because your it's hair already needed. has more than enough protein and your hair is actually quite strong. So you don't even need it. Unlike me, who I do need a little protein here now and again to add that extra protection because of my perot spine here. So the next product is by Camille Rose. This is for $22 from Rochelle's, right? Mm -hmm. That's where I got it from. And both of us use both of these products by Yami. Yeah. So this is a deep conditioning treatment and you literally just follow the instructions on the label. For those of us who like to sleep in the deep conditioning and, and keep it in all day, you really don't need to do that. It's not gonna make much of a difference. Just follow the label. If it says, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, just 3 minutes, it. just do what it says because they know why they're telling you that, that time frame. So if you have been watching my YouTube videos, you'll see that I have recently fell in love with Kinky Curly products. So of course it was going to be in this video. I don't know what you thought. So this is the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. And um, I, I just want to let you guys know that leave-in conditioners are stylers. They're stylers without holes. So this was specifically designed to be used with the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. And this is what it looks like. For some, for some wash and go products or gels, you actually don't even need a leave-in. Right. However, for this, this particular stylist that created the Kinky Curly products, she specifically designed it that they have to, to use, use together. together. So actually, even though some people use the knot today and they love it, I actually loved it even before I learned about why, how to use it properly. Mm -hmm. Some of us use it with other products and you may actually find that you it may not be work. getting the best results simply because they actually go together. They're supposed yeah. to be used together. So um, this, this product is very concentrated. I've used out of this 
I want it officially twice but I've also used it to slick my hair back for slick back styles when I went out um, a few weeks ago. I did use it to slick my hair back and it worked well for that. So I would say about three uses. And as you can see, I still have like a little less than half a jar. And I'm probably going to get about two more uses out of this for wash and goes. And water and helps a lot with applying that product. Yeah. Because as you can see in my video, solid. I used a lot of, I had a lot of water in my hair and my hair was dripping wet. And when you this because it's so concentrated the water because it's so concentrated the water helps to activate the activate the product, product. so you can get it through your hair and that product actually has quite a lot of slip you don't need very much of it as you can see in my video i use like a little bit on my fingertips and i work that through my hair and that's that's something we call emulsifying so you'll probably hear us talking about that emulsifying the product that basically means rubbing it in your hands yeah. so when you use more water soluble products that's activated by water you need to emulsify it yeah. to really get the best out of the product and otherwise you'll find it. that you're using too much sometimes and kinky curly can actually get pretty sticky if you use too much of it so you have to know how to use the product but another product that we use for washing goes are the is the archangel gel by diva curl so I use the Archangel gel for my wash and goes until I've gotten a chance to try the Kinky Curly. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It works. It doesn't work well on its own from my hair. I find that... Neither mine. Yeah, I find that it needs a little bit of slick there and it does need a lot of water as well. So I actually pair it with the Diva Curl B Leave-In. Now I actually don't apply the leave-in first. I apply them at the same time so because it comes in your hand. Yeah, emulsify, emulsify it in your hand, your hand and, and apply it to my hair while my hair is soaking wet. And then what I actually add on top to kind of help to keep my hair um, lasting longer for a longer period of time. With these products here that I've already mentioned, I actually pair it with another product by Miel. I don't have that right now, but it's by Miel called the, Curl the Miel Organics Curling Custard. Curling Sculpting Custard, sorry, and that's actually also available at Rochelle's Beauty Supply as well. And then I top it off with the Diva Curl Styling Cream. And it seems like it might be a lot of product, but it's not. I literally used one pump of this for my whole hair. So this yeah. is basically like I, if you, those of you, you don't need a lot who watched the previous hand. video would have seen that, like we said, you need a good balance in your hair in terms of maintaining moisture and to keep the, the air from pulling moisture from your hair. But so also maintaining the moisture that's already in Exactly. So using water-soluble gels such as the Archangel, you do need something to help to maintain that moisture so that you don't lose too much moisture too quickly. So using the styling cream actually helps to maintain or retain the moisture in my hair for up to seven days because, you know, Keyman is quite humid. So I do need something to help to just balance that moisture out really well and to help me to keep curl definition for a longer period of time. Um, so for this, pretty much Diva Curl products are the same prices across the board. Um, I think this might actually be about 30. Yeah. yeah, this might be between 25 to 30 bucks. I can't remember right now. I believe, I actually think all of these are 25. Yeah, um, each. Each, yes. Um, I actually have the bigger bottle. I don't remember the price. It might be, it actually, it, it's 50 for the bigger bottle. And I've actually had that bottle two months now and I'm not even near halfway done. So the next one that I'm gonna talk about is the Kinky Curly Foam. Um, I think Crystal would be the best one to talk about this <laughs> just because she's used it for her to sell. Um, I guess she'll, we could do an updated video on yeah. that when she gets the final results of the twist out. But basically, um, using it in conjunction with other twisting products, and you use this on top of on top of that. I also so use it to, to give it a little up. bit. Of my hair or well. whatever yeah. but yeah she uses it for that so yeah so I use it for to slip back my hair it's really good for puffs or if you want to do like buns or something and you don't really feel like using gel this is really good now, for those of you who might be surprised about seeing mousse or foam being used for for twist outs I actually never thought about using them until I thought of um sorry until I started the 30 day hair detox I found that it it um it was recommended to use sometimes on its own or to pair with a cream which the two that i have here are both by camille rose i actually use them together simply because it gives i believe that it gives a stronger hold now i'll give you guys an update once i get to really see what the product does both of these are by camille rose the first one is the almond dry twisting butter 
and the other one is the aloe whipped butter gel both of these I, as i said i put them together in my hands emulsify them and then i added the kinky curly on top and i got both of these at rochelle's as well as well as the foam this one is the aloe whipped butter gel is 18 dollars from rochelle's and the twisting butter i believe is about the same price yes yeah. yeah. um the foam from from um rochelle's is $14 and this is a kinky curly foam um, the knot today was $16 and the curling custard was $20 um, so the next product that I'm going to talk about is the blueberry bliss um, this is the blueberry bliss control curl control jelly by the curls line and this is what it looks like um, I will not be repurchasing this gel just because um i mean it's really good for slicking back my hair it's okay if, you know if i'm gonna go to work and i need to like my hair is in a puff now and all i've been doing is um i just add a little bit of this and just have my hair back but for 27 whole dollars like i just i'm not getting this again sorry I'm, I'm just not going to get it again. It doesn't just make sense to spend money on a product that's not going to work. Yeah. I mean, it works, you know, but I just feel like... Not for what you really want. Yeah. So the other gel that I have is the Honey and Ginger Styling Gel by Mayel. And I got this from Rochelle's for $19. I think it might be down to $18 now. I'm not sure. This, I will repurchase again. This is what I use also to stick my hair back. So another style that we um, use, now this isn't necessarily on the approved list, however this is what we have available, available and we're just using it until we get the better products in that we need to use. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, um, but like I said, it's not necessarily on the approved products for the 30 day hair detox, so I've been using a little bit of it and actually using more of the Camille Rose simply because that is the better product. You do not want to put something like this directly onto your hair strands because you're going to suffocate them, okay? So something like the Twisting Souffle will pretty much kind of block some moisture from getting into your hair to help to maintain that style and that's why you should not be putting it directly onto your strands. You want to put something um, more water that's more water soluble. You. So for twist outs, we do use leave-in conditioners for twist outs. That's the only style that we use that for. I'm all right. about using products, right that, products work. that work so yeah. if you want products that work and you want to save time save money you need to purchase the book or join the salon and we'll leave all of that information in the description box below and then you can focus so, on products after that i hope this video was informative for you guys um i know we did talk a lot we covered a lot of um topics if you have any questions at all Make sure to leave those comments in the description box below. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, reach out to us on our social media platforms. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to share with all of your natural hair friends, family, cousins, whatever. Um, <laughs> please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. We will be posting more videos. If you have any suggestions for any videos that you want to see, please let us know. We'll keep you updated on our results. And keep and keep an eye out for updates on our Instagram as well. Yeah. We do also do provide little mini updates throughout mm -hmm. the week when we can based on our hair, what yeah. it's doing on the product that we're using. Yeah. So even though we may not necessarily post a video every single week or something, we do update quite often on our Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, definitely sure follow us on that. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.